Hi, this is Mandy Root Thompson with Medraw Studio. I am working on a uh, cut paper animation in After Effects, and right now I am in Photoshop. And what I'm doing is i am got this piece of scanned Bristol board up, and this is the paper texture that I'm going to use for my cut paper in After Effects. And I need to colorize this, so instead of just white paper, I want this the colors of the artwork and the storyboards that I have here in uh, Adobe Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into Illustrator and I'm going to use Control A and select all. Select all of the artwork on here. And I'm going to go over to the swatches um, panel. And if I go here to the right hand side to the little drop down menu and there should be an option to add select colors. Right here, add selected colors. So let's do that, and we just added all of these colors from the storyboards into our swatch library. Now I need to save these to be able to take them into uh, Photoshop. So I'm going to do the drop down menu again, and I'm going to say Save Swatch Library, S A S E. And it's going to default, and it's going to come up to uh, the Adobe Swatches area, but I have my own folder for this, so I'm going to go here, and I have color palettes for Adobe that I keep and I'm just going to call it something I can remember, Zika Storyboards. That's what the file's called. And I'm just going to save. It's going to tell me that it can't save gradients or patterns or tints and that just say OK. And now when we go into Photoshop, I need the swatch library which is here. You can also find it under Window uh, Swatches. So you just pull the swatch library up. And these are colors from a previous job that I had up. So I'm going to go into the side menu again and I'm going to go here and I have the option to load swatches which is fine but what I want to do is replace swatches. This will get rid of all the blue greens that I was working with and load up just the isolated colors for this job. And then I need to go in here and find it so we have to find a ASE is what we saved it as. If I scroll down there's my Zika storyboards and when I double click it imports all the colors into the swatch library in Photoshop which is super cool. So now what I'm going to do is I need to colorize this paper texture. So I'm just going to create a new layer. I'm going to pick a color and I'm going to get the paint bucket tool. I'm just going to come over here on the layer one, make sure my opacity is up at 100% and dump the color in. And then go back up here and I'm going to turn this to a multiply layer. And there I have uh, my colored paper to take into After Effects. And I can add a new layer for every color on here. If I hide that and I just pull up the swatches and pick the next color and do the same thing, uh, dump it in and set a multiply layer and hide that. The next one, let's choose the green paint bucket, dump it in, multiply, and you get the idea. And then I can um, go in and turn on whichever one I need and save it uh, as its own image. Um, flatten the file and then be able to take that into After Effects and use it as my texture. Um, I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful.